is believed that within these walls a magical group of kind-hearted and mischievous creatures were once created. Born of the finest and most fragrant ingredients ever known, they had one purpose. To bring joy to the world. They would fill the factory with life and spread happiness to anyone who met them. The factory was a delightful place to be. Until one day, without warning, the creatures disappeared. Some like to think that they left the factory in search of new adventures. But others believe they were locked away and forced to work for a sinister ruler who wanted to steal their magic. No one really knows where they are today, but a forgotten prophecy tells of three heroes that will emerge and bring upon the return of the Putty Pounds. But why do I have to come with you to work? Yeah, because you're both still kids. And the last time I trusted you, I came home to you feeding a stray cat on the kitchen table. That was Tonga's cat. Oh, so, um, the dirty present left at the back door, was that, uh, Tom's too? It was Pauline. I was taking care of him. Are we going to be so bored? I just need to get my laptop and then we can play with your friend. Hey, Lucy. Hiya, Tom. Face your maths on work, yeah? No. We've still got four days off. The only bird catches the one. We was up early. What's in the bag? Torches. We're going camping this weekend. Morning, Tom. Um, how's your cat? I don't have a cat. See you later, Tom. We'll be there and back in 20 minutes. Work here? Yeah, pretty cool, right? How come you've never brought us here before? Oh, it's my boss. She doesn't let kids inside. Why? Is it dangerous? Have I ever told you about the Putty Pal? <laughs> no. The Putty Pals made all this possible, or so my boss says. She told me a story about a secret vault hidden somewhere in the factory. You have a secret vault? Of course. Hidden somewhere in the factory. So hidden, I haven't even found it myself. What's inside? Apparently, it's where the putty pals live. And it's where they create magic that makes our putty the fluffiest, sweet-smelling and most fun of all the other putties in the whole world. Oh, what? They like to play and go on adventures, so kids distract them and then everything goes wrong. What happened? Well, the scents go vile and, and putrid, and the soft, fluffy putty becomes dry and it crumbles to dust. Oh, no. There's no way any of that is real. Hot pals are not a real thing, like Santa and the Easter Bunny. Of course not, girls. It's just a story. Personally, I just think my boss hates kids. <laughs> anyway, you two stay in the car. I'll be back in two minutes. Nothing there. Oh, damn, that's my other corner. What? No. It can't be. Dad must be playing tricks on us. <laughs> See? Two minutes. Dad, was anyone else working today? It's Saturday. No one works at the weekends. 
Why? What's up? Dad, we told a pelican, a, a, pe a penguin, no, a puffin, a, a, a pigeon, a, a pigeon. On the moon. We saw a pigeon on the moon. Uh, great. That's cool. was on the side of a building. I saw up on window. Saw. Saw. We both saw some real pair. I don't know what it was, do you? Exactly. So I think me, you and Tom go back later and find out what it was. You want to go back with Tom? Oh God, he'll love an adventure like this. Okay, fine. He has torches. Jess, you're too small. Well, why don't you jump in then? I'm too tall. Then what do we do then? <laughs> I think I have a concussion. A concussion, you mean? That's what I said. About that. Can we go and look for the putty ball now? Not real. I hate saying this, Jess. But I think about it. What was that? It came from over there. Were you about to say I was right? Let's go see what that was. Who even made this? the tongue, the wind. Show him what you say. <laughs> uh. 
Wind? No, 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 no. My name's actually Alan. Is that one alright? He has a compulsion. 